let's just take the next three minutes and on the very top of the paper, I want everybody to write down their big picture goal in each one of the categories. I keep the time. We'll go three minutes. Three minutes good? Actually, we'll go two minutes. Two minute warning. Starting now. The first question says, what are your long-term goals academically, athletically, with family, post-athletic career, financial, and life goals? You like to travel? Anybody been on an airplane before and went outside of the United States? Got to use a passport, can't use your ID? Anybody eating food that they would never eat if they were presented the opportunity here in the States or anywhere else? What about school? Is it just good enough? You just want to graduate with a bachelor's? You want to go on and get a master's? You want to get a PhD? You want to learn another language? You want to be the first person in your family to graduate college? Maybe the second? Maybe you're continuing the legacy, or maybe you're starting one. Family goals, last name means something, one or two, now's your chance. <coughs> Inside of that video, what was one thing, what was one thing that he said that, that caught your attention? Um, you believe that you can do it. Okay, Cody? Yeah, he was in reality. He's reality? Trust in the other goal. Talk. The law of attraction. Cameron. Um, one thing. One thing, he didn't, he didn't even have to say it. One thing it made you think of. The, uh, with the teachers, when they were uh, doubting him, telling him to snack back to reality. Yep. Uh, okay. The shoes are in the store. Shoes are in the store. The truck do what you want and make it a reality. Okay. Yep. Same thing, shoes in the store. Okay. Uh, he's living the life he's all born in. All right. The law of attraction. Law of attraction. Law of attraction. Okay. Shoes in the store. Shoes in the store. You can make any situation a reality. You can make any situation a reality. So somebody already said it. One of the things that for me stuck out the first time I saw this was just like you talked about the teacher. So I've said the story a couple of times. When I was in sixth grade, in sixth grade, my sixth grade teacher told my mom at a parent teacher conference said, by the time your son is 16, he'll be a leader of a gang or he'll be dead. Flat out. So that was his perception, his reality for my life. So at that moment, I could have either went left and agreed with him, or I could have went right and made my own reality. Is there anything that you guys don't have yet, but you've always wanted? So on the back of your paper, I want you to write down one thing. You can have many more, but one thing that you've always wanted, but you do not have yet. There's no right answers, there's no wrong answers. One thing, 